a DVD or Blu-ray drive will go into a five and a quarter inch bay. Time to decide which bays we're going to install the drive or drives into. On this case, we have four available five and a quarter inch bays. The drive will be producing a lot of vibration while the discs are spinning and being accessed. The higher in the case we mount it, the more the vibration will affect the case and produce noise from the vibration. If you're installing two DVD or Blu-ray drives, it's best to separate the drives by one bay, so you can have both drives open and have enough room to swap discs from one drive to the other. We're installing one DVD recordable drive, so we'll put it in the bottom bay. On this case, we need to remove a plastic bay cover. We'll press the tab inward, and the cover pops out. On some cases, you press in the center of the cover, and it pops out. Be sure to keep the bay covers. You might need them in the future. In some cases, there is also an inside metal cover that has to be removed. Some are held in by screws or slide out by pressing a tab, and some, like these, you have to break out. If your case is like this, the trick is to grab the plate with your pliers and pry the cover up and down. This causes the metal to fatigue, and eventually the metal cover will come off. It's easy to get carried away and hit your knuckles on the case. Just keep at it, and it will get easier. Once the cover is off, be careful around the surfaces that broke away. They are sharp. Back on our current build, we'll slide the drive into the bay from the front of the case and flush it up against the front bezel. This case has pins that slip into the screw holes on the side of the drive and it is secured. On a previous build, the drive needed to be secured with eight screws. There are four screws for each side of the drive. Screw them in, but leave them loose at first. Once they're all in, tighten down the screws. Since there are so many screws, you might be tempted to only put in half. This can be done, but we recommend putting them all in. It helps to keep the vibration of the drive down, which keeps the drive as quiet as possible and will extend the life of the drive. Some cases have sliders that put tension on each side of the drive and keep it secure. In the next lesson, we'll connect the data cables to the drives.